the last podcast episode of 2019 on the 31st of December 2019. Here we go. And uh, we're about to kick off a brand new year, a brand new decade. So might as well kick things off with a bang and talk about three steps, three steps for creating a kick-ass marketing plan to make 2020 your absolute best year yet. There are so many different ways to set up your marketing plan. There's so many ways to overcomplicate it, convolute it, get yourself overwhelmed with so many different steps. There's so many different ways to skin the cat to be able to bring in leads, mine the gold from your database, get more business from realtors. So how do we keep it simple? How do we cut out the clutter, cut out all the convoluted, complicated crap that keeps us stuck in stagnation and overwhelm and procrastination and just get straight to what works with elegant simplicity. That's the question we're going to be talking about today because regardless of whether you had a kick-ass year in 2019 or you had a lackluster year and you're wondering how the heck did that happen, I'm here to tell you that when you tune into this episode and you enact and apply what I'm going to talk with you today about in terms of how to simplify your marketing and zero in on the vital few as opposed to the trivial many, you're going to find it so much easier to act on your plan because the more complicated it is, the less likely you're going to implement it, right? You've probably noticed that when you've got a dozen different things that you need to implement in order to get to your income goal, it's a lot harder to orchestrate that, implement that, and get yourself motivated on a daily basis to do that than when you have just one, two, or three things that you're doing on a daily basis that push the needle on profit and performance at the highest level in your business. So let's just cut out the clutter, shall we? Let's take a deep breath. Let's exhale. Let's drink in simplicity let's exhale complication and overwhelm and let's keep things really elegant really simple so you actually do it because again we get paid on done not begun we get paid on executed and implemented not just thought about it hoped about it wished about it but implemented and so as we look at your new year as we look at all you want to accomplish your dreams your goals your ambitions the income targets you have for 2020. There are many different pathways to get to your outcome, but there's only one way. I repeat, there's only one way that's the shortest path to the cash. My proposition to you is if you have to work, if you're going to work, if you choose to work, why not get paid at the highest level with the least amount of time, energy, struggle, and stress? That's what I call the shortest path to the cash, and there's only one shortest path. There's only one easiest, smartest, most elegant, most effective path, and that's the path I want you guys to take, the path that gets straight to the outcome without messing around doing it the hard way. I was talking with a client the other day, and she's talking about how she's invested in Todd Duncan and the core and the mortgage marketing animals and buy referral only and all these different things, and she's still missing a proven process, she feels. She's still missing that shortest path to the cash because intuitively she knows that until and unless she's got something simple she can follow that doesn't involve cold calling and chasing realtors and trying to wrangle 40 realtors every Monday and just get straight to simple, elegant, effective action that gets her to her outcome with repeatable, reoccurring, duplicatable results that can allow her to scale on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annual basis, she's still feeling stuck because she doesn't have that elegant simplicity. And you may have that same feeling where you've tried all those different things. You've done the Monday calls to the same freaking 40 realtors every Monday. You've tried to wrangle and herd the cats. You're trying to push soggy noodles up hills. You try to do all these things and still the results aren't showing, the growth is not showing. And the reason for that is we got to get you laser focused on the vital few instead of the trivial many. So with that as a precursor, as a preface, let's get into it and do it, shall we? We're going to talk about today the three simple steps to create a kick-ass marketing plan to make 2020 your absolute best year yet. And the first step in that process to get you to 
an absolute breakthrough, unprecedented result for 2020 is simply this, set your income target, right? You'd be surprised, a lot of people, they launch into a new year, they don't even have an income goal. They say, well, I'm not about the money. And they'll make excuses like, I'm about helping people, uh, serving people, being a conduit of contribution, being a light in the darkness, being a difference maker, all these beautiful, fluffy, wonderful, altruistic words, but they don't have a focus, a measurable outcome they want to achieve in terms of income. I propose you do both. You have an altruistic outcome that you want to accomplish in terms of family served, and you have a target for your income. Because imagine playing hockey with no net. Imagine playing basketball with no hoop. Imagine playing golf with no hole. It's impossible, right? It just doesn't make sense. Well, a lot of you guys are getting into the front lines of capitalism in the real world, getting bludgeoned because, because you're showing up to the, to, the, to the game without a goal. You're showing up to the basketball game without a hoop. You've got to have an outcome. The problem that most people have is not that they're shoot too, shooting too high and that they're missing. It's that they're shooting too low and that they're hitting. So I suggest you get crystal clear on your outcome because clarity is power. What is that income goal that would let you know 2020 is going to be your absolute best year yet? What would light your fire? What would get you doing the happy dance? What would get you popping the champagne and doing the freedom dance? What would get you absolutely delighted and excited and elated that 2020 was an absolute breakthrough year for you? If you don't set that target, we're just showing up to the basketball game with no hoop to shoot for or the golf ball uh, with no golf hole to get into the hole. I mean, it's like, it makes no sense, right? But how many times do we do it where we don't have those measurable outcomes? So let's get clarity on what you want to achieve. Yes, you can add some targets for how many families served or how many people you want to help or charities you're going to donate to or people that you're going to transform their lives for one family at a time by getting in, them into a home of their own and also have an income target. Because again, that's a measurable specific that it gives you something to shoot for. Once we have that, now let's build your marketing plan around it. And it doesn't have to be complicated like most of you presuppose. We can make it real simple. So the next step in the process is determine your marketing targets. So this is where you take your average commission per deal, take your hunt, whatever you made last year. Let's say you made 100K last year and you did 33 units. That means your average commission per deal is about 3K a pop. Once you know what your average commission per deal is, now what we can do is we can take that income target. We can determine how many units you need to get to your income target. So for example, if you're making five Gs a pop and your income target is half a million, we need to do 100 transactions. That's just eight closings a month, right? So we get simplicity and focus around how many units a month you need to hit in order to hit your income target. From there, we need to figure out how many apps with purchase agreements. So if you need to do... Uh, for example, eight units a month, you probably need 10 apps with purchase agreements. If you're working in the purchase business, and I suggest you do because as rates go up, the refi market's going to start to dwindle. So let's focus on the purchase business, eight closings a month and 10 applications with live deals on with purchase agreements. Okay. So that gives you your app target. Now we need your lead target because not all leads turn into apps, let alone closings, right? I suggest you double that number. So if you need, for example, 10 apps with purchase agreements, you probably need double that in quality leads by referral and repeat from realtors or clients. So that works out to 20 quality leads a month. So what you have now are some specific measurable marketing targets to get to your income goal. In this case, it's half a million a year based on five G's a pop. And that means you need to get 20 quality leads a month. So now the next part of the process is where are you going to get those leads? How many leads are you generating now? How many closings are you getting now? If you're getting two closings a month now and you want to get to eight, that means we need to bridge the gap with an extra six closings a month. So that's where we need to start to re-engineer and reverse engineer where you're going to get those extra deals to bridge that gap. And that gap is always going to be bridged with lead flow, because without the leads, you don't have the apps. Without the apps, you don't have the closings. So we got to reverse engineer it with the lead flow. You might be getting 20 leads a month right now, but only two or three of them are converting because you're getting crap leads, because all you're doing is just chasing unqualified leads from 
online lead sources from Zillow, from Facebook, or you might be working with bottom feeding, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors that send you crap leads where you gotta work all day, every day, just to try and strap some wings on it to make it fly. And most of them, you can't resurrect from the dead. So you're wasting a lot of time on bunk crap leads that aren't converting. That's a waste of your time, energy, and talent. And that's gonna cause you to spin your wheels. So what we wanna look at is the shortest path to the gap, cash to go to your income target. So in this case, to get to half a million a year based on those metrics, you need 20 quality leads a month. Notice the key word I use is quality. Quality leads, not crap leads, but qualified quality leads. And the best quality lead you can ever get is a lead from a referral from a client or a realtor or a repeat transaction with a client. Those are the absolute best leads you can get. So if you don't have a marketing plan to focus on those better quality leads, you're leaving a lot of money on the table and you're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. So I suggest instead of stepping over dollars to pick up dimes, instead of pulling off the 24 foot ladder to you know, risk your life dangling on the end of this ladder to reach for the high hanging fruit, let's pick the low hanging fruit. Let's take the shortest path to the cash. There's no merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way, right? So if you're gonna work, you might as well get rich and you might as well get rich fast and you might as well get paid, push the needle on profit and performance at the highest level and get straight to that outcome without spinning your wheels, without doing all this cold calling crap that's wasting your time on unqualified people. Let's get straight to the outcome. So determining your marketing targets is key. Now, when you look at your marketing targets, it's not just how many closings, how many apps, and how many leads you need. It's also looking at marketing targets in terms of activities. So for example, activities that produce those leads, such as how many live conversations am I gonna have with my clients? How many live conversations am I gonna have with top producing agents? And how many appointments are, am I gonna book with top producing agents on a weekly or monthly basis? And we're gonna reverse engineer to determine how many of those process driven activities, which would be like appointments with realtors and live conversations with clients. Those are process driven activities that produce the product of the loans, the volume and the commission. We've got to focus on the process to get to the product. Most people have champion level ambitions, but they have chump level routines. And therein lies the problem where we have these lofty goals and ambitions, but it's not translating into high quality, high caliber, high productivity and high performance routines in your daily schedule. The secret to our success, friends, has and always will lie in the daily agenda. So therein lies the next step in the process for a kick-ass marketing plan to make 2020 your absolute best year yet. And that is block schedule your daily routines. So that's where we're gonna take these marketing targets you wanna get to. Let's say, for example, that right now you're generating 10 quality leads a month and you need to generate 20. So you need to double your quality leads per month. So that works out to about two and a half additional quality leads a week. It's not really that big of a deal, right? As long as you have the right system, the right plan. So now, if I, the first thing I'm gonna look at is my database. How big is my database? How many past clients do I have? And how many actual deals am I getting from the, those past clients in the form of repeat and referral business? If your marketing's on point at a black belt level, you should be getting one to three deals per month for every 100 past clients. So you do the math on that. If you have 100 past clients and you're not getting one to three deals a month from that, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So I would always start there. That's always the lowest hanging fruit. But Doran, I'm already checking these people. I have a system in place that allows me to see if anyone's getting a credit report, report pulled so that I'm not leaving any of those repurchase and refi deals on the table because I get notified the moment someone gets their credit pulled. That's great, but here's the problem. You're not capturing the referral business. Think about it. Everyone you've served every client that you've closed a loan with, if they know you, like you, trust you, if they're delighted with your service, if they give you a positive review, that's a great source for referrals. How many of those people are you getting referrals from? Are you asking for referrals? Are you asking the right way? Are you asking in an elegant way that makes it much more likely that they're gonna give you the referral? That's the kind of thing we teach our clients, our mortgage professionals how to do, and it creates an absolute avalanche of referrals. 
You can get more referrals in one month asking the right way to the right people with the right campaign than you got in all of 2019. That's how powerful just this one strategy is. So how many referrals are you getting from your, from your clients? Do you have a method for that? Do you have a system for that? Do you have a campaign for that? If you don't, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. The other thing we want to look at, in addition to referrals, of course, is repeat transactions. So that's where we want to do long-term nurture. We want to do trigger campaigns where we're sending the right message at the right time to the right people so that we are able to capture that repeat and referral business with long-term nurture, with valuable content. That's where we have like our done for you video marketing service, where we're sending kick-ass videos to your prospects, clients, and realtors every single week to build that top of mind awareness. So when they think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice. Another thing that's very powerful is a direct mail newsletter. Most people think snail mail doesn't work. And frankly, if you want to be a top producer, you got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. So let them think that while you take market share and you kick ass, take names, chew bubble gum, crush it and dominate your space because everyone else thinks that only digital marketing works. They don't realize that old school methods still work if you know how to work them, if you have the right content, if you have the right involvement, engagement devices, if you have the right method to deliver it so that it engages them, it gets them excited, it gets them involved, it gets them responding to your content. There are secret sauce methods to being able to deploy that kind of direct mail, old school method of marketing. If you know what you're doing, if you know how, know how to do it, it works. It works if you work it, if you know how to work it properly. The other thing you want to be thinking about doing is being able to send the right message to the right people in your database using a telephone phone call, text message, email. There's lots of different ways to reach them, but you've got to be able to send the right message at the right time. Otherwise, they just roll their eyes behind their head and they just get bored. They ignore you. They don't give you the time of day. They think it's a sales pitch. You've got to be able to come out with them with the right message at the right time in the right way. So it's very relational so that there's a relational connection where it's a brotherhood or a sisterhood or a family type of bond as opposed to, oh, here we go again. Here comes John Smith trying to close another deal. You never want to have that running through their mind. It's got to be very relational so they feel like you're a friend, you're a family member, and that you're always adding value. Every touch, you're adding value. Every touch, you're making a meaningful difference. Every touch, you're connecting with them on a human level. Okay, so database marketing is a huge piece. Attracting realtors is another huge piece. So what I would do if I know that I need an extra, for example, I'm going from two loans a month to eight loans a month, and I need to get an extra six loans a month, and I know I'm leaving at least three deals a month on the table just in my database alone, I'll come up with maybe three campaigns I'm going to implement for the year just for database marketing, not 10, not 20, just three. And over the span of, say, Q1, the first quarter, I, my goal would be to implement those three campaigns so that I can take my closing count from two loans a month to five, five loans a month. Okay, so now that's just from my database. No chasing realtors, no Facebook ads, no Zillow, nothing else. Just my database. That's the low hanging fruit. I'm always going to start there. So now I'm going from two loans a month to five loans a month just from my database marketing. And I'm three short because I need to get to eight to get to my goal. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at bridging that gap with top producing agents. So this is where my philosophy and my way of doing business is hands down night and day different than the lion's share of these mortgage coaches out there that are going to get you calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. First of all, who wants to work with 40 realtors? Come on, let's like having 40 bosses. Who wants 40 bosses? Number one. Number two, why would you want to call the same 40 realtors every Monday with the same lame ass value proposition without something meaningful to bring to the table? Why would we focus on casting such a wide net to so many people? Why not send a wide net to 50 to 100 top producing agents, let the cream rise to the top using a proven, powerful campaign that lets the cream rise to the top with the hot for what you got people who actually want to speak with you, who are actually engaged and say, yeah, I'm interested. And then you can be like a hot knife through butter and just pick up the phone and book appointments. 
But now we're taking a list of say 50 to 100 top producing agents and we're boiling it down to maybe 15 to 20 appointments. Out of those 15 to 20 appointments, we're drilling down using a diagnostic process so that we can uncover their pain points, uncover their challenges, where they're leaving money on the table, how they're leaving uh, traction in their marketing engine untapped, where they're losing steam in their marketing engine such that they need your help. So we're gonna diagnose their pain points, diagnose their challenges, identify where they're leaving money on the table, and then we prescribe a cure for what ails them. So if you're doing, say for example, 20 meetings out of 100, now out of those 20 meetings, we might have 10 that we actually want to work with. So we're going to have a second meeting with that group of highly qualified, already pre-sold real estate agents who are super qualified and successful doing 20 plus transactions a year, not 20 transactions in a decade, but 20 in a year. So these are the guys who have the most influence, the most clout, and the most marketing firepower to send you the most amount of business most often. And now we whittle it down to 10 out of the 20 that you've met with that you actually wanna work with. And you have a second meeting with them where you prescribe to them what ails them. You prescribe to them a cure for what ails them with your exclusive VIP partnership program. And this is what we help our mortgage professionals do is design this exclusive kick-ass avalanche of awesome VIP partnership program exclusively for top producing agents who qualify. And then if we offer this to 10 agents, we might get five to seven who say, yeah, I'm in, let's do this. Okay. Cause we're adding so much unique value such that you become irreplaceable and indispensable. You become the only logical choice such that they need you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script? adding so much value that now you're in the power position. Now you've got the cookie. Now they need you more than you need them. Anything less, frankly, is doing it the hard way. And so now you're working with five to seven top producers who make you their exclusive, who put you on their speed dial, who send you all their business all the time versus trying to herd cats, pushing soggy noodles up hills and doing the spraying and praying method, calling the same damn 40 realtors every Monday. Which method do you think is gonna be more fruitful? Which method do you think is going to be more conducive to happiness, fun, fulfillment, sanity, enjoyment? The one where you're going shallow, wide, and skimpy with many, or the one where you go narrow, rich, rare, uh, narrow, deep, and rich with just a few? I propose to you, it's the one where you go narrow, deep, and rich with just a few. Would you rather have five to seven kick-ass top producers sending you all their business all the time, who you love and adore and who love and adore you? Or would you rather have a bunch of lackluster, uncommitted, uh, disloyal 40 realtors who are expecting you to call every Monday without a damn reason why you're calling and now you're just in this routine of calling them because you are told you're supposed to be calling them every Monday and none of them have made you their exclusive. And the ones who do aren't top producers doing 20 transactions a year. Which method do you think is gonna put more zeros and commas in your bank account with more fun and fulfillment? It's pretty much a no-brainer, isn't it? The one where you go narrow, deep, and rich with just a few top dogs. And that's precisely what we help our mortgage professional clients do. How to create that kick-ass value proposition. How to self-source your own leads so that you're coming giving pre-approvals who need a buyer's agent instead of just leeching them like a mortgage parasite. How to add unique value so you become irreplaceable and indispensable to a few top dogs who send you all their business, such that they work on your terms, not theirs. And then, of course, how to mine your gold from your database so you can maximize that repeat and referral business and get those two to three loans per month for every 100 past clients. And then how to dominate on Google. That's another method to bridge the gap is getting more five-star reviews on Google so when people do a local search in your market, they see you top of the list on the map with more five-star reviews than any of your competitors. So you become the only logical choice. Everyone else pales in comparison. Now they're calling up saying, hey, I did my research. You got an amazing reputation. We've decided to hire you. What's next? They're pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, hot for what you got, pre-sold on working with you, and predisposed to hire you before they even talk to you. That's what I call working smart instead of just working hard. Agreed? So notice the elegant simplicity of this. We're mining the gold from the database, if you have one, okay? 
So we're picking up an extra one, two, three deals per month for every 100 past clients. Then we're going after maybe, maybe three to 10 top producing agents. That's all we want. Three to 10 additional top producing agents who make you their exclusive. Notice how simple that is. That's literally seven to 20 appointments done right. If you do it the way we teach, seven to 20. Do you think if you knew that you could double, triple, quadruple your income by doing an extra 10 to 20 appointments done right, do you think you might be a little motivated to do those appointments and to follow through and execute that plan? You gotta freaking believe it. Why? Because it's simple. It's simple and it's elegant. I'm all about shortest path to the cash. So we've talked about a few things here today. We've talked about how to get yourself motivated with a simple plan. We've talked about cutting out the clutter and the BS and all the trivial many so you can focus on the vital few. We've talked about setting your income target so you've got clarity on your outcomes. So you're actually playing basketball with a hoop instead of just dribbling around going nowhere, chasing your tail. With clarity of intention, you have power to create. We talked about determining your marketing targets so that you can break down what you need to do for closings, for applications, for leads. And then we break that down into your actual scheduled events. So now you're going to block schedule time, for example, with an hour of power to reach out to your past clients if you have a past client database. So you might have half an hour to an hour every day just reaching out to your past clients, asking for referrals implementing these trigger campaigns or these, these long-term nurture campaigns. And again, I teach you how to do these things inside of my client acceleration formula. But for now, just having that time allocated to have three conversations with clients once a day, to ask for referrals, to see if it makes sense to do a refi or a repurchase, that alone could easily double or triple your business if you do that consistently, day in and day out. Agreed? Just that alone. But then on top of that, we also want to reach out to realtors, but we don't want to cold call them. We want to load these prospects into a what I call referral attraction campaign that gets them raising their hand saying, hey, I'm interested. Yeah, I want to talk. So that way, instead of cold calling, instead of chasing, they're chasing you and you're like a hot knife through butter, just picking up the phone and booking appointments. That's the shortest path to the cash when it comes to attracting these top producing agents. So you might have half an hour to an hour of reaching out to these realtors and booking these appointments, not to call them every Monday, not to call them over and over and over again with no meaningful conversation, but to book the appointments so you can take them through an interview process to see if they have what it takes to qualify to be one of your few VIP partners who qualify. And when they become a VIP partner, now we're moving towards an all-in exclusive loyal partnership where they're all in with you and you're all in with them. And you add massive value to them and they send you massive business by virtue of making you their exclusive lender. Okay, that's how you want to do it. That's the shortest path to the cash. But notice, none of this is going to happen until and unless you block it into your calendar. When you block it into your calendar, it becomes real. Until then, it's just a wish, a hope, a dream. But when you block it into your calendar, now you've got a routine. High quality routines create high quality results. Most people have champion level ambitions and champion level results they want to achieve with chump level routines. And that's why they're frustrated, chasing their tail, spinning their wheels and going nowhere because they don't have that champion level routine to match the champion level ambition and the champion level results they want to achieve. You got to have them be in sync. So that being said, that's it, my friends. Get that hour of power, put it into the morning, make sure it's non-negotiable. Do it before you get into the office, getting stuck into the vortex of putting out fires and managing loans. Do your most potently profitable, profitable activities first, first thing before you do anything else. And if you want to learn about how you can condense timeframes, turn decades into days, if you're tired of trying to reinvent the wheel, if you're trying to mess around, doing it the hard way and it ain't working, and you're spinning your wheels because you realize that you're the chief cook and bottle washer wearing all the hats, and you can't possibly be the expert doing all this stuff yourself. And you just want to go straight to what works with a proven plan, stick your key in the ignition, drive away, have a mentor and a coach in your corner, and have a proven recipe for success. So you're no longer hemming and hawing and deliberating and hoping something is going to work. You know it's going to work because it's just like a proven recipe to make souffle. If you've never made souffle, you don't wonder and hope. 
how I'm going to make souffle, you hop onto Google, you search souffle recipe or master chef souffle recipe. And bada bing, bada boom, you have a master chef souffle recipe like that. You can replicate that result and get a master chef souffle outcome like that. That's the, the power of having a proven plan where you just plug and play, set it and forget it, turn key, stick that key in the ignition. Let's drive away, baby. Let's make this thing happen. Why mess around doing it the hard way? If you'd like to learn how to double, triple, quadruple your income in, 2009, in 2020, rather, if you're wanting to take your business to a whole other level and at least 100K or more in additional revenue in 2020, you want to be able to get there with more fun, with more fulfillment, with more flow, I recommend you take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. On this call, we're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where do you want to be? And if we can help you create that breakthrough in your business, by all means, we will show you how to do that. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun along the way as well. So again, it's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, just the way you see it on your screen there. And that's where you book a call, either into my calendar or one of my consultants' calendars. And chances are this will be the most clarity-inducing, confidence-building, and gap bridging conversation to bridge the gap from where you are to where you want to be you've ever had in your entire entire career we're going to get to the real truth about what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your life a breakthrough in your income a breakthrough in your business so if you're ready to make 2020 your absolute best freaking year yet and have an avalanche of awesome unleash in your life and to be able to just cut through all the clutter and crap that ain't working and just go straight to what works and just go focused like a laser beam on the vital few instead of the trivial many. That is absolutely what you want to be doing right here, right now is booking this call. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Book the call. Looking forward to connecting with you. Let's kick things off with a bang. How you engage with this will determine how profitable 2020 will be. Because if you're lackadaisical about this, if you're casual about your goals, chances are you're going to end up being a casualty. If you're casual about your business, chances are you're going to be a casualty. You're going to be chewed up and spat out. I'm telling you what, if you've been in this business for a long time, it's really easy to stagnate. Good is the mortal enemy of great. If you're doing good, what's your kryptonite right now is that you're doing good and you're telling yourself, I'm doing better than most. And that lulls you into a state of complacency. Complacency leads to stagnation. And stagnation is the result of neglect, and neglect is most definitely the result of complacency. So if you're complacent, you neglect. If you neglect, you stagnate. When you stagnate, now you're heading towards regression. If you're not growing, you're dying. If you're a newbie, you've got to figure out how to get to your income goal without a database. The fastest path to the cash is top producing agents. There is no faster way to get there. Get top producing agents to make you their exclusive. For example, I got a client that just came on in, uh, I think it was August of 2019. She'd only been doing one loan a month. Her name's Kirsten O'Donnell. She was doing one loan a month when she got to us. She was doing silly things like cold calling, chasing realtors, doing all the stuff that her branch manager told her work for him. It wasn't working for her. She was spinning her wheels. She had as a three-year-old, she's trying to feed and put money on the table and provide for. She's freaking out. She's losing sleep. She's worried. She's stressed. She gets with us because she's just at the end of her rope. She doesn't know what else to do. She books this breakthrough call. She says, screw it. Let's do it. She invests in her future. She invests in her dream. She invests in herself. She invests in the three pounds of meat between her ears, investing in herself, the best investment she could ever make. And to make a long story short, within four months, she went from one loan a month to six loans a month. Within four months, you know what that came from? Three partners, just three partners. We took her from one loan a month to six loans a month. That's what I call working smart, friends, not just working hard. If you want to learn how to do that for yourself, if you're tired of messing around, doing it the hard way, spinning your wheels, fretting and frustrated, losing sleep and you're tired of bringing that negativity home with you because you're frustrated as hell and now your family's got to deal with that frustration. If you're tired of being in the muck and mire 
of that frustration and you're ready to rise up and freaking conquer in 2020, book the call. I promise you it'll be the best thing you ever did for your business and your life. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. All right, friends, that's all we got. That was our last Facebook Live of 2019, the last episode of our Art of Mortgage Marketing Facebook podcast. Um, I have absolutely been blessed to have the opportunity to serve you over this last year. I feel so grateful to have the opportunity to make, make a difference in your life in some way, in some form, in some fashion. And I trust that some of you got something from this that you can enact, that you can bite your teeth into and run with. And so it's all about taking action, guys. The biggest gap in life is the gap between that which we know and that which we do. So go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you're going to get massive results. All right, guys, we'll see you next year. That would be like tomorrow. <laughs> go forth, guys. Continue to do what you do, but do it smarter, do it sharper, do it better. Take the shortest path to the cash. If you want to learn how, book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I love you. I wish you all the best. Let's kick some ass in 2020, shall we? Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Make it a great and prosperous and abundant and healthy, wealthy new year. 2020 is going to be fire, baby. Let's make it happen. Peace. Thanks for hanging with me.